Yo, what is good everybody? This is your boy Chad bring y'all another video. Um, this video is going to be about um, this new video that Project Veritas just released like an hour ago. Um, the title of it is California High School Teacher Admits Communist Indoctrination of Students Turn Them Into Revolutionaries. So what I'll do here is I'll just roll like the beginning of their video just because it kind of does like take pieces from basically the entire video i watched all 12 minutes of it and yeah it just takes like a little clip of it from the beginning and yeah we'll just go ahead and roll it and then we'll come back and i'll give you guys my two cents i have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries how do you do that how do you scare the fuck out of them yeah. sacramento organization that is under the banner of antifa is, is very loosely organized right um so that yeah when when there is like right-wing rallies and stuff then we like she will create an opposition to that. Yeah. Beautiful. Where would he go to connect to some of these organizations? Like, no, I, I post a calendar oh, every okay, week. Awesome. And then, so, like, they, it's, and I do it for extra credit. So they get points for doing it. Like, and so that encourages them to do it. <laughs> and I've, I've had, like, students show up for, like, protests, community events, you know, tabling, food distribution, all sorts of, sorts of things. They, when they go, they take pictures, they write up a reflection, that's their extra credit. Like, I, I have an Antifa flag on my, on my wall. Um, and a student complained about that, and he said it made him feel uncomfortable. Well, this is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable, so if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> like, maybe you shouldn't be aligning with the, the values that it, this is antithetical to. So, the Cultural Revolution in the 60s was fixing the problem that came about after the economic one. It ultimately failed, right? Um, and there was a lot of excesses. People were definitely, like, you know, shot in the streets that probably shouldn't have been. Incredibly ugly behavior come out of this city, and you can see a couple of people over there that might be demonstrating that. All right, man. So you saw that, you heard that. Now in this video, you saw in the beginning that the guy was like, you know, I have 180 days to turn these students into revolutionaries, and the Project Veritas guy interviewing him is like, you know, how are you going to do that? And he's like, scare the children, like. You know, as we all have been talking about, you know, the school systems, people's thinking, everything like that. Um, I have mentioned personally that the propaganda and just the lies and the and the pushing of trying to have people view everything the same way in this world um, has just gotten out of control. And, you know, when people on the right or just people who, you know, just use their brain on the left to whatever side you're on it doesn't even matter but you know we've all been saying you know they're trying to indoctrinate the kids whether it's with you know critical race theory or it's trying to push communism or it's like college campuses where people who are more right-leaning they're demonized on campus versus everyone else if you're like a leftist or you're liberal then that's celebrated and it's championed if you want to have like a talk on campus um whether it's you know high school college on you know like a right leaning sort of view then they're protested against they're said that they're just insensitive and like i said you're just demonized so now you have this you know high school teacher who's basically like yeah like you know we use the propaganda and things like that um from basically he said basically you know kids they are on tiktok they're on instagram yeah we just use that propaganda to you know make sure that we get our point across and get them to be on our side and he's like yeah we scare the kids you know we have antifa um, you know, we, they're so loosely organized and anytime they're right wing organizations and things like that are trying to have rallies or just, in my opinion, it sounds like, you know, rallies are just get their point across, like show a different side of, you know, the coin. Then he already said, like, you know, we create an opposition to that. And, you know, a lot of people are like Antifa is not real. You know, Antifa doesn't really exist. And. The guy's like, I have an Antifa flag in my room. You know, there's a there's some students who didn't agree or said that it made them feel uncomfortable. And he's like, well, yeah, anyone who identifies with who, you know, identifies against the Antifa, you know, y'all are the fascists and you should still you should be uncomfortable and yada, yada. And he's also like, yeah, the, the way I help them, you know, 
come, you know, to these events or try to basically like try to get them to join his personal ideology is he said he posts a calendar every week and he makes them do extra credit assignments that way you know they have to do it like okay if your grade is you know between let's say having a c and having a b or having a b or having an a or you just want some extra credit to you know boost up your scores whatever you want the extra credit for he's making them do like these like I guess going to do these extra credit assignments for how he identifies, you know, out in the world. So if they're going to Antifa events and things like that, it's like this encourages them to do it on top of his already propaganda that he's teaching in the classroom. So like none of this stuff he's teaching is even in the curriculum in the first place. You feel me? So like the curriculum may be, oh, let's just teach about these different things and He'd rather just go and push his propaganda. And he's not like one of those, oh, this is just how I feel. You know, you guys are open to feel a certain way. It's like if you don't agree with him, he said himself, he addresses the class and, you know, he makes it like seem like you're the problem. How if you don't want to agree, then you're the fascist, you're this, you're that. And it's like, who asked for this? Like who sends their, I don't have any kids. But who would send their students or their kids to high school expecting them just to get a normal education and have a propaganda person, like a person just full of propaganda, forcing these ideas down on them from the extra credit to the calendar post to the flags he has in his room? Like, like I said, he showed, you know, the Antifa flag. He showed that, you know, Mao Zedong and them, he looks up to him and communism. The only way, it, the only reason it didn't work was because it wasn't organized enough and things like that. And I'm like, like, what is he even doing this for? And you could tell he is super, you know, ecstatic about it. And he stands by what he's doing because he's having this whole interview and he doesn't even know that like, this is really an interview. Like he's probably just excited to actually like really tell, um, what's the word? Like how he gets all this propaganda done. You feel me? You feel me? So he's also like, you know, after I do my propaganda and if people have a problem with it, maybe they shouldn't be aligning with the values that my side is, you know, fighting against. And, you know, like at, at some point, you know, it has to be said, like, this is no longer a conspiracy. So like when people say, well, you know, critical race theory is not taught in schools or this isn't taught in schools. It's like this is because you have teachers just like this who decide that, you know, bump the curriculum, bump other people having their opinions and beliefs, bump how everything is. I'm going to force my opinions and beliefs on people. And if they don't want to hear it, then extra credit and everything's going to be through what I want them to know. You feel me? So that way he un it's like a un it's like an unconscious way of basically forcing your beliefs on people. You feel me? It's like if someone told me I'm not even going to go through with an analogy. I was really just going to say, like, if someone told me their favorite color is blue and I said, well, my favorite color is red. And they said, like, on video. I want to force everybody to like the color blue. So when I give them extra credit assignments, everything that they must go look up to get extra credit and write a summary on has to do with the color blue on in the classroom. I have nothing but blue items like that's kind of how it is. I know that's a bad analogy, but that's kind of what he is saying. He even went forth and said, you know, the cultural revolution in China in the 60s was fixing the problem about the economic one. And then it's like, as soon as he says that, he says, but, you know, the Chinese cultural uh, cultural revolution ultimately failed, right? Yeah, like it, it, it failed. That's what he was telling us. Um, and he's also like, you know, people were shot in the streets. And they probably shouldn't have been. And, you know, this just brings a bigger question of like, is he even a teacher? You feel me? Like he's not even teaching at this point. He's recruiting. You know, he showed the Antifa flag. He has on in this interview right there in the video. He has on an Antifa shirt. You feel me? So Antifa is an organization. People who say it's not, they're just being sleepy and they don't really care about anything that's going on. They're letting the propaganda take over. You feel me? 
Um, but a lot like like people in the comments are saying like he's not teaching, he's recruiting. Like he needs to be fired because he's not, you know, showing a point of view and allowing others to have another point of view. He's actually forcing his beliefs on the students. You feel me? And other people in the comments are like, he's promoting communism, yet is worried about being harassed. Because at the end of the video, the dude's like, yeah, I'm with Project Veritas. And you spoke to one of our people about how you're doing this in the classroom. And he's like, you're harassing me. And they're like, nah, we're just asking questions. And even when Project Veritas went to the school um, and was trying to talk to someone from the school board about this is what you're like. I have a video to show you about what your teacher is doing. They were like, get out of here. You can't be filming and yada, yada, yada. And to me, it's just like, I, I don't really know, like, how people don't see this. Because if you look at it, there are a lot more liberal students and everything like that. That honestly, if they took a look at why they're liberal, they would actually see that they never actually came up with the idea of, like, some of the things. So, like, some of the things that liberals stand for. There are a whole bunch of students, whether they're in college and high school, that if you really took the time to like dig deep on why you think the way you do, they would actually see that they don't know why they're liberal in actuality. Because the, if you like when you ask them like college reform, um, campus college reform, that YouTube channel. Or so they do videos all the time on college campuses asking people how they feel about a certain thing. And you can tell just from hearing their responses they know nothing about the subjects that they have this giant stance on. You feel me? But anytime you start to like break down why they think that way, it's stuff and people like this dude, that's why they think that way. They have college professors that push a certain narrative. They silence others. So people are scared to take an opposing view rather than, you know, actually stand firm on their beliefs. They have all these extra credit assignments that are like reinstilling these subconscious and unconscious thoughts and views and values that they may not necessarily agree with and over time and with enough propaganda of making one side seem demonized versus your side seeming like it's just the right way to go you eventually start to take upon that side's values little by little it's like a small it's like okay if your brain was a map and you had your beliefs of okay i'm more right-leaning and then you have Mr. Propaganda here come through and for 180 days indoctrinate you. He said the goal is make them revolutionaries in 180 days. So in 180 days, he's slowly getting rid of that right leaning and replacing it with Antifa, communism, liberalism, this, that. By the time you're done with his entire semester, you, you, you think that the side that you were with in the first place that you actually had a reason for being on that side is demo not not demonic, but basically like it's the wrong side to be on. You want to be on the right side of history and this side is better when in actuality it's not even your own free will that basically got you to that stance. It's like nothing but propaganda, like he said, fear and scaring you. And forcing your side and opinion with all these different symbols and stuff in the classroom to be on the side that he wants you to be on, which is actually more dangerous and not not good at all. Because would you rather have your own stance, your own beliefs on certain things, or would you rather have someone do 180 days of propaganda, make extra credit assignments, be with his side, have all the symbols and stuff in the classroom and basically force and indoctrinate you to be on his side than if you were to freely have open discussion and thought to try to actually see, okay, you know what? I do a lot more with this side. But I just thought this video was interesting. Like I woke up and I seen that Gothics had um shared it on her community page. And I went ahead and watched it and I was like, yeah, like I can see why students, you know, are more liberal because first off, they don't think for themselves. Second off, you know, the students that are questioning this stuff, they're questioning, they're like, this this is weird. Like, like he's being real weird here trying to force us to think like how he does. And then on top of that, when they bring up this stuff, the dude's like, well, you shouldn't align with the side that's fascist and da 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 and this symbol and that symbol and go to extra credit with what I say and 
I'm going to scare them and the propaganda, like, that's really doing a lot. And I don't think parents send their kids to school to learn this stuff, honestly. I'm not even going to say, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm naive. Like, do they send their kids? Like, no, parents send their students to school to learn the curriculum, not for somebody to take 180 days to make them revolutionaries. But yeah, man, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I think it's crazy. The teacher, he probably should be fired because he's he's no longer teaching. He's forcing his ideals and beliefs on people. You feel me? But yeah, it's been your boy Chad. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'm out. Peace.